push. It's been reduced to rubble. Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we going to do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No. Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. Are you worried the rest of the building will cave in? Yes. You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. Let's visit again soon. I have your people call my people. to face Delane's scurvy flyer. <laughs> Ahoy! 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 Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My cousin's uncle's mother's best friend says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. Where'd you get that cool flag with the hole? We found it floating in the ocean. It's Bella Fisher's flag. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Bye. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? I knew this was bad. You're right. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the save. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it! <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. It says, the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island. 
1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. It's a very realistic likeness of the scarlet-plumed point-and-snip bird. I didn't know Elaine was into woodworking. Whoa, had me fooled. Elaine, are you decent? Hello? Hi, I'm working due west of Parrot Rock and due north of the lighthouse today. I pinched a yak with it once, and then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. And I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. It seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. Hi. Hi. I was hoping I'd run into you again. I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? Not yet, but I'm closer than ever. I just have to gather a few golden keys together and I'm good to go. That sounds promising. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. Love you. You too. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. You should try limes. They help prevent scurvy. Where did you hear that? Is that more of your science mumbo jumbo? You need to leave before you catch scurvy. Have a look at this flyer on limes. 
Uh, ascorbic acid deficiency, collagen synthesis, mucous membranes. Hey, that is a bunch of science nonsense. We won't have any of that around here. It's all a trick to track our plunder. As if you have any plunder. Hi. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Hi. Hi. What do you think of Stan Stanman as a marketing advisor? He's in jail, but maybe he can look at the pamphlet anyway? That guy could sell fleas to a dog and probably would. Just what we need, actually. Good idea. I'll go find Stan now. Thanks. Halt, ship. If... If that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. Right, let's see how you've done. Hmm, good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay, this looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? There must be some mistake here. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery or there will be arrests! Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. What did Your Honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Toasty. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. 
court is now in session, Judge Plank presiding. I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! The guard is guardedly guarding the gardens. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? I was hoping for a tour. We don't give tours here. The only people allowed inside are the prisoners. And also, I suppose, people visiting the prisoners. But no one ever does that. You and the chums? Um, not saying anything. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Nah, I think I've got it. All right. Clearly, you've got a lot to learn. You'll want to find some other charms to practice on. Okay. I'd like to visit a prisoner, please. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. special about this stump? No. Why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought, you know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please, don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. Nice stump.
Guybrush! It says, jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. It's been reduced to rubble. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Where did you say Stan is? They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck. Obviously. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Hello? Hmm. It's not like her to leave the place unlocked. Also, I smell brimstone and beard oil. LeChuck's been here, and that magical glow on the safe is new. I bet that's his work, unless it's Captain Lila. I don't know what this glow means, but I bet it means LeChuck, or Madison. Either way, I'd better find the keys soon. Closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. You should probably put out the rest of these flames. Thanks, I'll do that. Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll uh, keep an eye out for them. Hi there, little guy. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. In all the worst places, 
there are mushrooms. It's like a slow crashing wave of spores. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. Uh, there's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? getting hard to tell the flora from the fauna. It's locked. 